Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Seven Days to Die. So, what are we doing here? Well, here I am doing some smelting, and as you'll notice, I have a wrench here and a hammer. I'm also creating a bunch of forged iron. I think I need 30 of these things. Let's take a quick peek here. I'm going to type in workbench. I know I can't build it yet because we have to buy the skill, but we need 25 forged iron, so that's no big deal. Okay, so let's kind of do this. Let's make this. So we need to buy the skill. So to make the workbench, we need to purchase a particular skill. Uh, which one would that one be? I think it's just the workbench itself, maybe. I can also do concrete mixing, because then we can make cement and concrete mix. So that is really cool. So let's do the workbench. It takes 15 points. We have 102. Bam! Okay. Concrete mixing. I do want this because I do want to create cement and concrete mix. So we might as well buy that one. Okay. Breaking an entry. This is kind of interesting, actually. That you can increase your block damage with uh, the, the, uh, the blunt items, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think that covers that. I don't think there's any really other skills to look out for here. I'm just kind of quickly taking a peek. Uh, fast Eddie, yeah, well, I don't know. We don't really need that one. We don't use shotguns too often. And these ones, I don't know. Maybe if we have extra points, maybe that's what we'll do. But I think we'll buy some of these things. There's the survivor... There's Rump Forest Run, which is pretty good. And there's the Camel. Some people would think these are wastes, but I don't know. I don't think they're really a waste. I think they work. And Health Nut, I think we'll do this one as well, because we might as well. That is good. We have Sexual Tyrannosaurus. So, yeah, we should be doing a little bit better. And let's take a quick peek back into the forge here. Okay, so this is continuing to produce. Now we can make the workbench. Let's do that. That's how long. It takes 2 minutes 54 seconds. Okay, so where, where are we going to place this stuff? This stuff is huge. guess if I took out this area, I could turn this all into probably the place where we place the stuff, maybe. What's this? Is this... Uh, what is this that I cannot see? Do we have a torch on us? I think I have a torch in one of these boxes, maybe. I do have a claw hammer here now. And we do have a shovel. I do need to collect materials. So I think that's what we're going to do for this day. So it's going to be nothing really exciting. And we do have to reorganize our stuff because this is completely filled up. <laughs> that is a problem. It looks like we have two sets of feathers. We have these bone shivs that I want to show you what we can do with them. It's pretty freaking cool what we can do with that stuff. Uh, do we have two pairs of running shoes? We do. What else can we do? We have a couple helmets here. We can also take a flashlight. Do I, I do have duct tape. Oh, this is exciting, folks. Exciting, exciting. What else can we... What else can we do? Oh, and maybe we can make the motorbike as well. That would be something cool. So I'm going to clear out this area here, and then I'll be right back. But what is this? Is this like the wall? Or Oh, yeah, I was, just, I was going to look for a torch. That's right. I don't think I have a torch, though. And to make torch, we need to take this animal fat, and I think we need to turn it into tallow. So let's see here. Let's make, what, 10 tallow? Do it just like that, and this stuff we shall throw into the chest here. So this is how I do inventory management. <laughs> we'll throw these in here as well because that is useful. Okay, so I'm going to clear these up, and then I'll be right back. Oh, okay, this looks like. So what happens if I keep hitting that? Ah, okay, so it's just a little design on the wall. That's exciting. So yeah, I'll be right back. Perfect. Okay, so I think this is where we will place all this stuff. Do I do have a hammer? Let's quickly upgrade these. Yeah, we'll just upgrade it all the way. It's no big deal. Sure, it's, it might be a little bit of waste. Can I go further? No, we don't have any more. Okay, so the chemical station we can put right here. I think. 
Yeah, right there. That's actually a good spot. So this is how you can make all this kind of stuff. So with the snowberries, you can make snowberry extract with the cornmeal. Looks like we can make herbal antibiotics, but we need recipes. This is where you can make the gas cans. This is where you can make glue. So bottled murky water, large bones. That's kind of cool. Gunpowder, see, a lump of coal, one nitrates. Fertilizer, this is where you can combine the stuff to make fertilizer, which we'll get to eventually. Antibiotics, biofuel. Oh, it just needs animal fat for that. That's pretty cool. But I bet you you can use that, ah, yes, for gas here. So that's kind of cool how that can, oh, and there's grain alcohol in here. Let's see, where's grain alcohol? Cornmeal and bottled murky water. Woo, we're going to have to make that stuff soon. And are we done crafting? We are done crafting the workbench. And the workbench we can actually put right in here. It's actually not as big as I thought it was. Bam, okay. I think that works. This is our crafting st station area here. Maybe we'll put some more secure chests up along the top there. One, two, three, maybe. I know I can make other boxes, but I don't know. I don't mind putting the chests on the, the roof like that, on the wall, because you know, there's, they're usually safe up there in general. Okay, so now with that done, so the workbench is pretty freaking cool. So what you can do with this is you can, is you can repair two items. So I'm going to put the higher item here, and I'm going to put this one right here, and bam, look at that. The football helmet is fully restored. You can also do that with the pickaxes and stuff, but I figure it's easier to melt these down than to actually do that. And let's actually make another uh, actually iron pickaxe. We're going to have to think about doing steel items. Oh, so there might be a skill for steel. I might have missed that one. Steel smithing. Okay, so I need more construction tools. So our construction tools is at 26. So basically upgrading the wall outside here will provide us enough skill. Hopefully there's no zombies. It is going into daytime here, but we do need to do this basically. And this is why we need stones, we need clay, we need a lot of materials because I don't think I'll have this wall done for maybe the next Horde night. I might, but I doubt it. Maybe today will be a looting day, I don't know, but grab your drinks and your tasty treats and I will meet you back here in the morning. So basically at 4 a.m. Well here we are, we are back and what is going on? Well. Basically, I turn this stuff off, and it looks like we have a football helmet here with some duct tape and a workbench. So let's check this out here. So here's, an, uh, why is an iron pickaxe in here? I don't remember putting one in here. Unless I shift clicked it, uh, unless I did it by accident maybe. Okay, so where was I? I was distracted by family there, I apologize. So can we make an... A helmet of some oh mining helmet. Can we do it? We need football helmet, flashlight, we need eight electrical parts and four scrap plastics. Ah. So let's see, do we have that? Eight electrical parts. Oh 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 looks like we can do it. Looks like we can do it. Hopefully they don't need to use a battery. So let's see. Do I just need to go like this? Mining helmet in here? Uh, no, you need a workbench, tells you. And I want to make that mini bike as well. That will be the next kind of thing. We have the workbench now. Now that's, there's nothing stopping us. So let's look at the chassis. Okay, just iron and clay. That will be easy to get. How about the handlebars? We need electrical parts for that. Okay, we can get more stuff. We'll have to dismantle, excuse me, we'll have to dismantle stuff. So yeah, so I will go ahead and make this. Oh, bang, it's so nice. Now to stop. You know, for you to get the experience, basically the key is to you fill up the output slot here. And my understanding is you'll get experience once this gets crafted. And so if this is all fully like full, then this item will not get crafted and it won't get injected into here. So let's take a little peek at this. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure what happens once it's full. Okay, crafting has been halted until space is cleared, but then it popped it into my inventory here. It has a crappy skill, but at least it's now a mining helmet, right? So we can pop this tallow back into our inventory. And you can also repair these items. So, for example, 
if I take the existing bone shiv and then if I do this, bam, look at that, 138. And we can actually probably, you take this with us and slowly this will increase as we use it. The other way that we can do this too is, let's throw this up here. I did, I, I, I thought I repaired the running shoes. We want to do that as well. Just do this. I'm not sure if you get any experience for this stuff, but it looks like it's working. Perfect. I'm doing a lot of editing in this video just because I'm sneezing and stuff, and it's just that kind of year for me. I was going around the outside of this, so when I was putting a little bit of the cobblestone into the wall, I was trying to upgrade these bad boys here. We'll have to fix all these when we come back, but since it's, it's 5 a.m. here, I'm going to make my way off to the RV park that we were at. So we're going to really seriously loot all of these places properly and we're going to go methodically through it basically. And we're going to look for, oh do we have a wrench? I thought I had an extra wrench. Almost left without that. We need that wrench because I need to collect more more parts as you know. It's more mechanical, electrical, all of it. So we basically want to hit up anything that is going to be useful to us. I don't think I have it in here. We do have another flashlight in there. And I should have the wrench in here, which is already weakened, which sucks. But we just need to get some more mechanical pieces, I guess, so we can make another wrench. And then that will all, then slowly we will improve our stature in that moment. Perfect. I'm glad how you can run through the spikes now. The hitboxes aren't as bad for that. You know, you would have gotten hit. You're trying to run through those at that moment. So, yeah. So, I'm going to make a way to that RV park, and now we'll meet you down there. Perfecto. Here we are. We are back. Hello, my friends. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my way here. There's all these little things like this to harvest. I'm going to leave the bird's nests. Here looks like a tire we can get for the bike, which we didn't receive. There's some wood here. It looks like there's a campfire. I didn't notice that. That's cool. So if you use the wrench on the campfire, you can actually dismantle the campfire. There's the chair. So I'm going to carry on through this place. I'm going to loot it, and I'll be right back at the end, and I'll show you kind of the spoils of it. Okay, perfect. So these are the spoils. I got a lot of stuff, so I'm going to just run back to that vehicle. I'm going to drop off some stuff, and I'll be right back. So I looted this place as best as I could. There's a couple of these buildings I can't get into because these ones in the middle are okay, but these ones on the on the end here, this one, these smooth ones, they have like 12,000 hit points, so there's no way I'm getting into those ones right now. So I am going to proceed to the next one. So let's actually go to this one over here because I haven't been over there. I am rather full as well. So let's see, 12.35. Okay, maybe I will just... I'll just run over to the other place. I almost have the four mechanical parts. I think that's what we need for the wrench. Uh, four, yeah, so that's easy peasy. So I'm gonna make it to that other RV park and yeah, and I'll be right back. Excellent, here we are. There should be some zombies to kill. Hello, hello, ring-a-ling-ding. Come out and play. One. Bam. Yeah, that didn't kill it. Let's go one more. Bang! There we go. So looks like our skills are doing really good. Oh, no. Oh, man, should I grab that cash or not even bother? Ah, uh, man. I think I will... I'll grab that stuff. I'm going to toss a few things into here. I'm going to toss, actually, a lot of things into here because then as we go around collecting stuff, I can then grab the stuff on the way out. Some of the stuff that stacks I'll keep, but yeah, when we kill zombies, we do want to loot them because they're worth it. You know, you do get a little bit of odd loot off of them. They might not be, but I think they're worth it. Bam. Come on, folks. Come on, grab some death. Oh, and if I haven't said so already, make sure you guys have your drinks or your tasty treats. If not, you're missing out. You're missing out. I have my drink here. Today it's the water. 
sometimes when I play with uh, the other folks, it's 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 beers. So yeah, cool shopping cart. We know shopping carts you know, yield mechanical parts. So we'll definitely take this bad boy apart. But yeah, I'm just gonna kind of proceed with with looting. There's nothing really exciting other than just kind of the stuff that we pick up. But, you know, usually I show that all. You can pause the footage along the way if you want to really look in depth of what everything is. I don't think it really matters per se. Not too much anyways. And we're going to have to come back for like another pass anyways because there's a lot of stuff. Like, there's these burning barrels which are pretty freaking cool. So, yeah. So, I know, I know there's a lot of stuff here, but... You know, if we can actually loot through this stuff and grab everything that we need, man, amazing. So we should have, oh, we have six mechanical parts. Oh, that's, that's, that's golden, golden. So we'll see if we can kind of collect some more mechanical parts. What's this? Well, I can't, okay, now I can loot it. It's weird. And yeah, and basically this is all we do. We just go along, we loot everything that we can loot. We pick up stuff that we can pick up, and yeah, so I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, there's another mining helmet. Wow, we can actually put that with ours. So yeah, so I will actually catch you all on the other side. Oh, snap. <laughs> Look at this. Look what we found. Chainsaw is definitely more important than... Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know you could find chainsaws in cars. Man, that's so crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's all. Just the chainsaw. Okay, so I'm at this chest. So this is what I'm going to take with me. I'm going to take all the important stuff. Let's actually see what the chainsaw looks like. Oh, snap. That's loud. Holy crap. That is awesome sauce. Oh, boy. Not sure if we'll use that, but maybe once we have trees that are large enough. So now I'm going to head off to that drop-off box and I'm going to pick up what I can in there and then we're going to try and sell and then we'll go back to the base. Excellent. Okay, so what do we take? What do we take? So we have stuff that we want to sell and stuff that we want to take back with us. So we can definitely take the cloth fragment. I'm going to definitely take this stuff. I'm going to leave the oil here. I am going to probably snag the leather because that stacks. And then what are we going to do? We do have some wooden chairs that stack. Okay, so bottled murky water will stack. The plastics. What else? We can sell this item. What else is going to stack? Do I have any of this stuff? I have some pipes. That's going to stack, so we might have to come back for some of this stuff. We don't really need it that badly, but I'm completely full, and I want to take some of that stuff back. So now I'm going to head towards the trader. I think the trader I put, uh, did put a spot at. It's that little castle thing. So I'm going to make it over to the trader there. Beautiful, beautiful. There's the building. There's a lot of deer here. There's like two or three deers in the distance. So that is crazy. Deer's stag, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Venison. It looks like I'm overheating, but I am wearing the hat. So I'm not too... Oh, I can probably grab these burning barrels. Yes, I can. And I think all this stuff should be looted already. Oh, snap. What the hell? I guess I pushed into the door. It popped me up. And I hit the barbed wire quickly. That's really weird. Snap. Okay. I got that burning barrel. I think we can sell these. I don't think you can use them for anything. Hello, hello. Look, it's Trader Bob. And they... Oh, so this does change. This does change. The tasting and brewing, 742. So how much is this armor schematic worth? What? I'm going to get 57 out of that? Really? That's not really worth much, is it? Ah, that's crazy. How about the burning barrels? They'll be too dollars each. Can I scrap those burning barrels? Let's see here. Can we scrap them? Looks like we can. What do we get? So it looks like we get metal. I wonder if we can put this in the forge. I wonder if it'll explode and stuff like that. Do we have anything else that we can sell? No, I don't think we do. I only have that one thing. We don't really have much to sell. How much is the mining helmet worth? 141. That's not worth much either. Oh, that's brutal. 
Okay. Uh, sink. Come back tomorrow. We get yeah, you bet. Daily. Are there zombies here? Huh. I heard bagging and stuff. Well, no, that wasn't too bad. That's kind of cool. So we got to sell something there. You know, our barter skill goes up because of that a little bit. And now I'm going to return to the base. What's this? Is this a regular barrel? No, that's not a regular barrel. Oh, I don't think I can take those apart. It's too bad. It would be cool to steal those spotlights. But yeah, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the base here. And I'm going to unload stuff. And I'm actually going to make another run, I think, to the town if I have time. Just to pick up another load of loot. So yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. You know, you learned how to make the workbench and stuff. And so yeah, in the next episode I think we'll do some harvesting. We'll kind of get ready for the day 14 horde. We'll make sure defenses are all ready in this base. And yeah, and then we'll maybe go and grab that airdrop. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.